All right, folks, if you've been following any of my uh, webcasts lately, you'll notice that I've been uh, carrying on the same theme of tool calibration and tool behavior, and it's real simple. You have to understand how your tools work, and Wireshark is one of my tools. I'm sure it's one of your tools, too. So here's a little something um, very, very simple that I got into a conversation with somebody the other day, and uh, I just want to show you how, how we figured things out. So basically here we are in the capture option screen in the Wireshark analyzer and basically we type uh, host and then a host name UJG and just just wait a moment and there it goes it turned pink or salmon uh, as my wife corrected me once and that means it's no good that means there's something wrong with that not um, like a boolean operator or anything there is none there it's just Wireshark saying there's just something not right here and if I was just simply to type, uh, for example, .com on the end of that gibberish, it'll uh, all of a sudden turn green. And the customer's question was, how does it do that? What is it doing? So what we did was we started two instances of Wireshark. And one we had the host and this uh, gibberish UG, UJG. And another instance to capture if there was anything going on in the background. Because the question was, is it going out to do a name lookup? Is it using LLMNR? Is it using NetBIOS? Is it using DNS? That sort of thing. The answer is yes, 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 yes. It all depends on how stuff's configured. So let me show you what happened. So I'm just going to close this off, minimize this guy, show you the trace we had. So in this particular case, UG, U, <laughs> UJG, I should have typed something else. UJG, uh, because it had no real .com on the end of it, my computer says it's not on the internet, so I'm going to look for it locally. So it sends out a NetBIOS broadcast, as you can see, the subnet broadcast. And then, of course, because I have Windows 8, uh, LLMNR flies in to uh, help me out as well, looking it up uh, for either a type, IP type, uh, sorry, IP version 4 or IP version 6 address, running around trying to figure that out for me. And that's it. So this is what it's doing to try to figure that out. And if you look at the actual timings, the delta time here, you can see that it's taking a little bit of time. And that's why there's that bit of a delay when it goes from white to green or salmon. And there you go. It's that simple. So if you need to figure out how your tools are behaving, I really encourage you to do that. To just, you know, start another analyzer, see why it's red, why it's green, how it did what it did. There's usually an answer somewhere. And there you go, folks. Hope that helped. Have a good day. Bye for now.